Hi guys, Ross here from startups.co.uk and today I'm going to be talking you through a step-by-step -step guide to creating and using a free business email. So step one is creating and registering a free domain name. Now we're going to be using Bluehost today because it is arguably the best web hosting provider available. If you'd like an in-depth review of web hosting providers, including a roundup of Bluehost, you can visit our review on the startups.co.uk website. The link is in the top right hand of the screen. So here we are on the Bluehost landing page. What you want to do is click get started now. Now there are three plans to choose from for your domain name. These are basic plus and choice plus. Now we're going to be going for the choice plus plan because it has unlimited email accounts, unlimited email storage. It has a really good price of £3.92 per month. And it has a domain privacy and protection plan, which will keep your domain safe from being transferred. I say about the unlimited email accounts and storage. As your business grows and gets bigger, you're going to want different email accounts. You're going to want customers and clients to contact you um, in different ways. You do not want to be hampered by limited email accounts. So select the plan. And then we're going to set up your domain. So for me, I'm going to go for getcrisps.co.uk. That's because I absolutely love crisps. I am slightly addicted to them. The best thing for me would be to set up a business selling crisps, talking about crisps and buying crisps. So for you, it'll be whatever your business is, the business name. So try and keep it as close to the business name as possible or at least relatable and then you can select .co.uk.com whatever you feel is best. Now what this will do, we'll search the system and see if the Get Chris domain name is available and what you want to see is a lovely big green bar which we have done which is brilliant. Hopefully you will be the same once you've selected your domain. You then need to fill out your account information Choose your package. Now, Bluehost comes with either a 36 month, aka three year price plan of £3.92 per month, or you can choose a 12 month, aka one year price plan at £5.36 per month. That is entirely up to you what plan you choose. There's also loads of package extras you can select, and you need to fill out your payment information, read the T's and C's, and the privacy agreement before clicking submit. And there you will have it. That's the first step done, which is registering a free domain name. Next step is create, actually creating the business email for free. Hi guys. So you've completed step one, which is registering a free domain name. And now you're moving on to step two, which is creating a business email for free. Now, as you can see, we are on the Bluehost home portal or as they like to call it the C panel. Here you can access everything you need for your website and your domains but today we're focusing on the business email itself. Now the majority of us including myself would click on the email and office tab in order to set up their business email. However this will not give you access to your free business email. Instead what it will do is offer you two plans from Microsoft and Google. So if you do like if you do want to pay and you do want the user interfaces that Microsoft Outlook give you or Google Gmail give you by all means please go for one of these plans but again you're going to have to pay per month and per email account what we want to do today is try and save you money and help you set up a business email for free and cut your costs out for your small business so you want to click on the advanced tab and ignore the email and office tab and then from there, in the email subsection, you want to click on email accounts. And this is the, the base and the home page for all of the email accounts that you have set up. So all of the channels which customers and clients can contact you on are here. This is where you can access all of your emails, essentially. So for me and the Get Crisps domain, I've set up complaints at Get Crisps, info at Get Crisps and sales at Get Crisps. But I now need to set up another email account. So I'm going to click on the blue create button. I'm going to ensure I'm on the correct domain. So my email address registers to the domain it needs to. The username is essentially just the email address. 
that needs to be used. So I've already got sales, info and contact. So I'm gonna go for press at get crisps. So for any press related matters, they know that they can email this account and they will get to the right person. And now onto the password, I would always suggest doing the automatic generation because you're gonna have the strongest possible password. And the last thing you want is for people to be hacking your emails and sending inappropriate things to your customers and clients. Then you go into optional settings. You're always gonna to wanna to click on edit settings here because the storage per space is automatically set to 500 megabytes per email account. You wanna select unlimited because again, if you're having an influx of emails from customers and clients, the last thing you want is to run out of space and have to waste time deleting. I also want you to keep the tick box here for send a welcome email with instructions to set up a mail client. That is how you're going to be setting up your email on a device. Then all you have to do is click the blue create button, click save for the password. And if you go down, scroll down, and there you are, press at get crisps is there and set up and good to go. And really it is as easy as that. So for the next step, I'm just gonna briefly show you how to access your free business email and simply how to send and receive. So on to step three which is accessing your email accounts and checking you can send and receive emails. So in order to access every single one of the email accounts you've set up, you can do this via the email accounts page. All of the email addresses will be here in this section. And to check your email inboxes, you literally just need to click check email next to the email address you want to look at. So first we're gonna go for info at getcrisps.co.uk. That's gonna pull you through to a webmail login. Now every single web hosting provider um, has a webmail login and it uses um, different webmail clients. Bluehost, for example, uses Roundcube and Horde. And both of them are really good, easy to use um, web clients webmail clients and um, depending on which interface you prefer and the layout and design it will depend on which one you want to use now for me personally i like the look of roundcube more but they're both really good so it's really up to you entirely then what you're going to do is to actually open your inbox you're going to click on the roundcube open inbox button and here is your business email inbox which is totally free to use and it, you know it's great it's really simple it's really easy to use very functional I know it's nothing fancy but you don't need anything fancy what you need is to be able to receive emails send emails forward emails and contact customers and clients if you're trying to save money there's nothing wrong with using something like this. And so here you are, this is, this is where it all happens. So essentially the emails you will receive once you open up the webmail client is the clean configuration settings email we requested when we opened up the email account. Now that will give you all of the client configuration settings needed to set up this specific email account on a different mail client, including Outlook. That's why it's really important to request this email if you want to do that. What I would also suggest is you email this account from another email address, a personal email address or another work email address, just to make sure you are receiving messages last thing you want is for customers and colleagues to try and contact you and not to be able to get through. I'd also say to check that everything's operating in the back end to send an email out. So compose a new email and send that to um, an email address of your choice, just to double check perhaps your personal email address. And just make sure everything is working on the back end. And that is literally as simple as it is. You can begin now emailing customers and clients and colleagues, and they can begin emailing you, advertise your new email addresses onto your websites and social media pages. And that is how you set up a free business email. And um, if you'd like to learn more, visit our website, startups.co.uk. Link is in the top right of the corner.